Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon here with Ballast Home Flipping. And uh, <clears throat> today I'm going to try to dismantle uh, one of the most popular questions here on the channel. And, uh, you know, I've got this question so many times throughout the year. And um, it's coming up more now than ever. So I thought I'd talk about it. And if you can see by the title already, it should be something like, um, what is the, you know, best ballast song or whatever, uh, for the price and whatnot. And so I've done videos before where I've mentioned some of my recommendations where I may have titled what is the best for the price. But today I'm going to specifically talk about, um, how I think that there really is no best for the price when it comes to ballast songs. And I'll explain why. So, ballast songs uh, are all um, very, very slightly different uh, when it comes to price. And the reason of that is the machining process, the materials, the design, um, the size, the weight, the balance. And so, because all of these things come into play as a factor, uh, it's extremely difficult to recommend what the best is for someone, especially if your budget is like around 20 to $70. Um, because, or, or even under that. The, the thing about ballast song flipping is that this is a very expensive hobby. Um, you know, once you get one thing, you're going to want to get another um, because you're going to build up a preference. After you've been flipping for so long, you're going to think, hey, even this thing that I got that was, you know, fairly expensive, um, I actually like this thing better. And so, um, you know, for example, <clears throat> like this Nautilus here, I really like the weight of it and whatnot. And I've gotten, I've had a Nautilus before and I've gotten um, plenty of ballast songs in the past uh, that are far more expensive than this, and um, I just like this uh, because it's my preference, so I've built one up. And that's the thing. Um, although it's sad to say, uh, I'm not saying, oh my gosh, go away from ballast song flipping if you're poor, but I'm just saying try to find alternative methods before you invest. So before you put your money out to get something from a recommendation, try to um, cover like the three or more ways to just make one yourself, uh, you know, via popsicle sticks, paper, if you can weld metal, I mean, uh, if you can tie stuff together, if you can tape stuff together, just try to find a way. Uh, if you have absolutely nothing to just kind of make one for yourself, um, Lego is another big one. But the reason I recommend this method, especially for a beginner, is because whenever you get your first ballast song, no matter how good or bad it is, that's where you start developing your preference. Um, so you don't really have a preference until you flip something. So if you have nothing, it's almost impossible for someone to recommend you something when you don't even have a preference and you're gonna build one up. So if I just recommend you something, what's gonna end up happening is, you're going to, you know, be like, well, this is too handle bias and this is too this. When the truth is you're just developing a preference, which everyone has different preferences. So there is no ultimate overall best ballast song, especially for the price. Because uh, these things take a lot of hand craftsmanship and um, that's why they're already high enough to begin with. Because someone has to put in a lot of, oops, time and effort to be making these things. So... Uh, that's pretty much my discussion on, you know, what the cheapest for the price is. There ultimately, there ultimately really isn't anything, but my best advice is just to try to make something yourself that replicates the same motion so that you guys can, um, can kind of build your own preference. But if you're absolutely looking for somewhere to start between, you know, a, a one, a one to $20 range, uh, you can try your luck on Amazon. Um, 
if you want something I've done, pick up the glow mod at ballastonflipping.com. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you got to start somewhere. And uh, if you're worried about money, I would just say try to start it yourself. Try to make something yourself so you can at least build a preference. Because once you know what you want, then you won't have to ask someone once you have the money for it. But that's pretty much today's video. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Yeet.